Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. More than three years later, the murder trial and the death of Letcher County resident Michael Hogg for one of his accused killers is ready to go forward. In Letcher Circuit Court Friday, Special Judge Kent Hendrickson ruled on numerous housekeeping motions made by the defense and the prosecution in the case. Friday's hearing also addressed the competency of the defendant, James Huffman IV, one of the two men accused of killing Hogg on New Year's Day, 2014. Letcher Commonwealth's attorney Edison Banks confirmed to EKB News that Huffman was declared competent to stand trial. Court documents show the trial is set to begin April 17th. Huffman is accused of stabbing Hogg to death while he was being restrained by Patrick Smith during the course of a fight shortly after New Year's. Two other men with Hogg also suffered knife wounds. The trials for Huffman and Smith, both of Pikeville and both of whom are facing complicity to murder charges, have been delayed several times and for varying reasons. Smith is expected to stand trial in the case later this year. In Friday's hearing, Judge Hendrickson sustained a motion to exclude any potential testimony about some events that occurred prior to Hogg's death from being considered in the trial. Hendrickson also prohibited any potential audience member at the trial from wearing clothing or other items advocating for one outcome or another in the case. No other hearings are scheduled for Huffman before the scheduled April 17th beginning of the trial, nearly 40 months after Hogg's death, New Year's Day 2014. Reporting in Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.